We're going to be plastering some walls, looking for some defects on the walls, and we're also going to be plastering our window boxes. I'm looking for defects there. We're just going to use a all-purpose um, sanding plaster. Now this one here is the finish uh, finishing plaster so it's very easy to sand and I've got a light so we're just going to be looking using this light just to look for any defects any lumps or anything like that we see just cut off this knife is quite sharp so I just look for anything that might uh, need a little plaster uh, we don't really want to be plastering real big holes with this this um, plaster because it's it's really just meant as a top coat plaster so this wall's really good so we won't even put anything on it and then we come across things like this here I don't know if you can see that but that's a, a, a dent in the wall so then we'll, we'll um, make that a bit proud and this dries you know then 10-15 minutes. When we sand our walls we can sand that and I normally put a coat of paint on that with a brush after I sand it. Now I normally do this in the corners when I first get to a house and then I just I don't plaster then but I have a sanding pad with me and I look for anything that I'm that can be fixed with just a sand. Now without this light you won't see any of this stuff. This is uh, basically invisible to the naked eye. But I like to be very thorough and I like to find all this stuff. So no matter what happens with a customer, whether they're fussy, whether the inspector's fussy, I like to um, make sure everything's covered. All my bases are covered pretty well. And if we can see them. Now this is the secret to getting a, a nice finish to your house. It's, um, it's a must. And even before you put your first coat of paint on, you can actually do this as well. Um, I don't do it like that because then I've got to find that patch again and then sand it. And I don't like double handling, so double handling is not something that um, works very well with me. I want to do the job once and I don't want to do it well. So now we're on to these, this um, window box give you an idea of what we're chasing you can see that you can see this under the light I don't know like I said if you can see it that's where I plastered originally the big holes but yeah that's what I'm fixing We can do some major fixing with this plaster. And this one here sands very, very fine. So we, we can fix hair cracks um, with this plaster. A lot of the other plaster you can't fix things like hair cracks on that. You need a, a very um, a, a finished coat plaster. So there's lots of things to new houses that um, you're probably not aware of, things like this here. We can get little pin bubbles that we have to fix. Very important, the brightest light that you can get. I know there'll be people out there saying that's not Australian standard, you shouldn't be using a light. Well. The plasterers need to be using a light to, to, to do their pre-paint, so the painter needs to be doing a light 
just to get the painting up to scratch. The inspector doesn't need a light, he's not allowed to use a light, not supposed to, they do. Yeah, sometimes it's, uh, they're really good and other times they're really smashed up. It actually depends on the, on the carpenter. Um, the carpenters do a lot of damage. They bang the, the timbers and stuff like that up against the walls. Sometimes I think they do it on purpose. Um, because there's so much of it, you'll see the bad carpenters, the ones who do bad jobs, have the most damage to their walls. But whether they don't see it, I don't know. They just sort of bang their way through. Get a big piece of timber in here and just like bang it up to the ceiling and bang it down to the walls. And they don't care. But then you'll get the other um, carpenter like this fella here. He works by himself, so he doesn't have any workers. And um, yeah, he does a nice, nice job and he actually looks after the walls. So uh, this is a general thing to do. Um, I know there's painters out there that don't do it. Back to repaints where the houses are. When I walk in, when I do a repaint, when I do a quote on a house, I'll walk in with my light, with my torch, and I'll have a look at the house. And uh, you run a light around and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The new homes, the people, some of you people out there say, oh, you're never going to do that to my house. You're never going to paint it like that. Well, I'll tell you. Um, run a light around your house and you'll actually be quite shocked. Just, just how damaged your house already is. I'm getting hungry, so it must be nearly smoko time. Lunch time, as you call it. So anyhow. Another helpful tip from the painter.